Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out a serum quick tip tutorial video on ADSR. So in this video, I'm going to show you something that I just hope you know about. It was one of those things that was released in one of the many updates with Serum, and that is saving effect chains and effect racks. So I wanted to show you this for two reasons. First, it's really cool and it's a time sa saver. And second, it's nice sometimes to breathe new life into your presets to try different effect chains and just save some different effects. So if you see yourself or find yourself making the same type of, let's say you're a trap or dubstep producer, and you like using this certain type of effect on all your presets, you can just save the effect chain with, with in which most pre, uh, synths don't let you do that, so it's really nice. So I have a really uh, basic, I don't want to call it a track, it's like a progression. Uh, let's listen to it real quick. All right, so that's a plucked electric guitar coming from Serum. And if we go to the effects, tab inside of Serum, you can see that I have distortion, I have phaser, compressor, reverb, and EQ. So a total of five different effects. What you can do here is you can go to menu and you can go to save effect chain. I've already saved this one. I've called it, I just did this pr right before the video. Um, I usually save things in a different folder, but it's a little bit chaotic. So I just started from scratch for this video. So I just created Echo Soundworks, plucky guitar. Okay. So that saves this effect chain. Now, Let's mute this track and let's bring in another plucked electric guitar in Serum. That sounds a little bit different. Let's listen to this one. So it's kind of more harmonic-ish, um, like a guitar harmonic. It's not as aggressive. So let's go to the effects and you can see similar effects on here but without the distortion. So let's say you like how this one preset sound, like let's say we liked how this first guitar pluck sound. Let's load up that effect rack. So I'm gonna go load effect chain. And we're gonna go select, hit open, or uh, you can just double click, and here it is. So it's a little bit tighter sounding. So then I could try this in my mix. And we just copied and paste, and then you can add things as you as you want. And always, you can always save them. So it's kind of fun to go through uh, and get like go like a bass, get, get like the effect chain for a bass, and try it on a lead, and vice versa. You can get some really cool and interesting results. You don't have to recreate it from scratch. So there you guys go. Hopefully that's a tip and trick that you weren't aware of and that you can utilize in your production environment. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Sowers. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.